Hey, what's up? It's Jared. It's been a little while since I put out a video. I have been in the process of a move across part of the country and just a lot of stuff going on that has resulted in me being a little bit behind on keeping up with my things. So I'm trying to get back into it. And if you want more on kind of where I'm at and what's going on, you can definitely follow along with me on social media. I'll make sure to link those down in the description. But one of the things that I have to do on a daily basis as a, a freelancer, uh, I do have a, kind of an agency, so I'm not necessarily a traditional freelancer, but I do need to track my tasks and bill clients at the end of the month or the beginning of the next month. Uh, typically, I have projects that I do for my clients, and those projects are the fee is decided upon ahead of time. But then I also have tasks that I perform and then I bill clients for at the end of the month. And so I wanted to show you how I track all of that. I have, of course, my tasks manager here. And of course, what you're looking at right now is my completed billable tasks. And that makes it easy for me to see if this is work that I need to bill for, bill a client for. And so I could actually go and view a specific client and see how much time, as you can see, I've got time mentioned over here, how much time was spent, and I can add all of that up. So when I'm looking at all of my uncompleted tasks, I could see all of my tasks, whether they have due dates or not, and the status. This is all uncomplete. Uh, so these incomplete tasks are things that I still need to do. Some of them have dates, some of them have dates with a reminder, and then uh, some of them don't have dates yet because they're not top priority tasks. So I can view those. I can go and view incomplete tasks with dates, which gives me just the tasks that have due dates uh, that I need to complete them on. And then of course, when I am ready to bill, I can go and choose completed billable tasks and I could see all the tasks. I could see the date range and then uh, whether they were completed and then the client and the fact that they were tagged billable, which is why I'm able to sort in this way. And then I can see the amount of time. And this is the entire task. So if I want to go and see like, well, wait, what was that task that I did? I can't remember what that was. I have uh, all the information regarding that task. So of course, these tasks are linked up to a client. So if I was to go and view that client, I could either click on their name right here, or I can go into my client CRM. And uh, so I'm just going to jump over right here. And you could actually see this listing in my client CRM or this entry has the client name, it has my main contact for the client, it has their status, uh, whether they're a current past client or not, and then their last contacted, which this one really needs to be updated because I was just in contact with him the other day. Uh, this status right here is actually an equation or a formula that is going to notify me when, well, it doesn't notify me, but it turns from a thumbs up to a stop sign when I have not uh, been in contact with that client for at least three months. So it makes it really easy for me to determine whether or not I need to maybe get in touch with a client, see what they're up to. Down here, I can see any notes interactions from my interactions calendar, projects that I have uh, that I've done for them, and then of course all of the tasks right here. So this is kind of, this is where everything is and what everything is tied to, whether it's a note, an interaction, a project, or a task, uh, or even something that's in my inbox, it's all linked up to a client right here. So this is, this is just kind of like the master collection for this particular client. So if I wanted to go in and see any of my tasks or anything uh, for that particular client, I can do that here. But of course, in my tasks list, I can also go and create a custom view, and then I can tie that to just a spe specific client as well. And that allows me to do things like sort by date and uh, filter out different tasks, uh, low priority, high priority, stuff like that. So let's just look at how I go about entering in a task. So I'm gonna go back to all uncompleted tasks. This typically is where I would be uh, on a daily basis or I'd be on my dashboard. Now my dashboard is bringing in my tasks right here. You can see I've got my uh, database being brought in and it's showing tasks that are due today. 
And so this is just showing da tasks that are due for today. And what's nice about that is that tomorrow, this automatically updates. And so it's just showing the tasks that I have tagged with today's date, which is great. And you can see a couple of these are done. One of them over here was a high priority. Some days I have a lot of tasks in here, and so it's easier for me just to have this high priority section over here, which has a bigger view, which calls my attention more to these bigger tasks that um, need to be done right away. And they might not necessarily be bigger, they just have a higher priority. So when I wanna add a task, I could simply click on new and then add the new task. So I'll just put in like sample task, I could put a priority for it. So if I put a high priority, you could see it automatically popped in over here. Uh, and we can look at it here in a second. I can show status, uh, whether it's ne next up and progress completed or on hold. So I'll just do next up. The due date will leave as today. I could choose whether it's a personal task, a household task, Hill Media Group, which is my company or my project. So I'll choose Hill Media Group. I then have my tags, which one of my tags is billable work, but I also have call, email, general marketing, non-billable, other personal, photo video, pipeline, podcast, retaining work, or spiritual, which uh, doesn't really pertain to work. So because this is a multi-select, I could select multiple things, like perhaps this is gonna be billable work uh, that also involves a call, and then, um, those are the two things for it. Maybe it's a meeting and I'm able to bill for that time. Uh, if it's not that, and maybe it's a generalized, like a general task or a photo or video related uh, task, then I can select those. Uh, I can also keep track of work that I've done that is non-billable like work that I've done just to kind of keep my client uh, a task that I might need to follow up on or to kind of keep a client happy. I'm not going to be billing for that task, but I want to remember why I did that task for free. And then I also have retained work in here, which is uh, for recording tasks that I've done for clients that are paying me on a monthly to continue doing work for them. So retained hours or a specific amount of time that somebody has paid for uh, ahead of time, I'll just put it under retained work. And so that way I can ke also keep track of whether or not uh, they're utilizing that time. So I can add some notes here if I want, or a URL to something like specifically, I, I would add a URL to the email here because I can share the email and get the link to the direct email and just put it in there. It makes it easy for me to recall uh, previous emails. If I know how much time the task is going to take, I'll enter it. Otherwise, I will enter the time when I come back and change the status to complete. So just for the sake of it, let's go ahead and put 15 minutes in there. Now, if this is linked to an interaction that I had, and uh, I talk a little bit about my interactions calendar in other videos, and I'm gonna be doing a video on my interactions calendar soon. I created my interactions calendar as a way to log communications or interactions that I have with uh, people, whether it be people in my personal life or in business life or whatever. I try to track those interactions and I put those in my interactions calendar. And so a lot of times when I'm having a phone call with a client or something, a task will come up and I can link it to the interaction. And then I remember, oh yeah, that came up out of a phone call that we had last Friday. And so it makes it really nice to be able to, uh, to tie all this together so that you can remember when those things came about, when that task was decided upon, even though we have the date created down here, what conversation led to, to that. And then I have my client database here, which I can just start typing in a client name and tag it to a client. If it's a project that is already going, I can tag it to a project or connect it to a project that is already in my project's uh, database. If there's files that are needed for this, I can upload files and attach them right to this task. If it's a task related to a contact that I have in my, uh, my personal CRM, then I can tag that as well. Uh, my projects, if it's a task for my project or for one of my videos that I'm putting out, or if it's a task that I wanna tie to my daily log or a note, you can see there's a lot of databases that are tied into my tasks here. And most of these are all databases that show up over in uh, the left-hand column here. So they just tie together. 
And what's nice about this task list is that I can utilize it both for my business life, for my personal life, uh, and it's easy to get through those tasks and kind of sort through them. So you can see here now back on my dashboard, we have that sample task showing up here and then the sample task showing up here as well. And so I can actually click on this task and change it to completed and then check the little box and boom, it is completed. It's still going to show up here because I like to see the tasks that I have completed. You'll notice that in this section, it did move it to the end because of the, uh, the sort order that I have associated here. I have done as ascending, which means if the box is checked, it's going to be down at the bottom so that my uh, incomplete tasks that I have not worked on yet are up at the top. And so that's kind of nice the way that it does that. And then over on the right hand side, uh, there is that same kind of sort tasks that have been checked off will uh, be lower on the list than tasks that are still uh, have not been completed yet. So what's really nice about this is that at the end of every month, I can go into my tasks, I can go and sort or choose the view, which is completed billable tasks, and then I can easily add up the work that I've done for a specific client and then bill them through FreshBooks, which is the system that I use for billing. If you're looking for a great invoicing solution, FreshBooks is absolutely fantastic. Their pricing is really good. Their customer service is amazing. So you should definitely check out FreshBooks. I'll put a link down in the description for you below. I've been using FreshBooks since I think like 2007. And so for a very long time, I've been a FreshBooks customer um, and they definitely don't pay me to to use FreshBooks, I just like using it and they have an affiliate program, so I thought I'd share it with all of you. So this is just my way of doing all of this. FreshBooks allows you to time track projects that you're working on for clients. A lot of solutions do that, but I wanna be able to tie everything together. And because none of these solutions can have a, a master listing for the client that all communications, uh, or interactions, all tasks, all projects, all notes, and everything could be tied together like I've done here in Notion. I, I've i decided like Notion is just the best option for this and I can do all of this within Notion. So that's gonna do it for this video. I just wanted to show you how I manage all of my tasks and how I'm able to tie those into clients and then how I'm able to tell which clients I need to bill for the work that I've done at the end of the month. So if you have any questions, definitely ask down in the comment section below. I'm still working on completing my Notion course at the time of recording this video, so make sure to subscribe down below in the uh, if you wanna be notified when that course is available. You'll wanna make sure to click that link that's in the description. But that's gonna do it for today. I hope that you are well, and I hope to see you back here soon. Make sure to click that subscribe button on the YouTube channel here so you can be notified when I put out more content. Take care.